going on YouTube? Got my crazy hair going. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to install this paint board. This is really awesome for hanging and organizing your tools. It makes a lot of space in your garage, um, especially when you don't have big tool chests to put all your tools in. Um, it holds everything real sturdy. I have my entire Ryobi set here up on the wall. And then I'm gonna be putting some more tools up here uh, once I get it organized. But it's super easy to put up. I put it up in about uh, an hour, two hours, uh, after organizing everything. Um, super easy, uh, here you guys go. The first step in the process is determining how big you want your pegboard. Uh, they do come in different size sheets. I've seen seven feet, eight foot uh, pieces of pegboard. Uh, mine happened to be eight feet by four feet. So I measured uh, 96 inches across and 48 inches vertically and I got my square and design of my frame. So I cut my pieces to length so that uh, the frame will sit perfectly flush towards the end of the pegboard uh, so that I don't have any overhang and you don't see the two by you, you're not going to see the two by four frame. Here I'm just screwing in a center brace. A center brace is gonna be important for weight, which I'll describe in just a second. And I am using my Ryobi impact driver so that I don't strip out the bit or I don't crack the wood. Uh, always make sure that your pieces are level. And uh, other than that, uh, get your frame put together. It's really simple. All right. So I got the framing done. Um, you can see kind of how I set it up. I have the whole frame here. And then I did these cross members because the, the board's gonna be, the, the uh, peg board's gonna have a lot of weight from the tools and stuff. I'm gonna be hanging all of my Ryobi tools on it. So I wanna make sure that when I hang a couple hundred pounds of tools on here, it's gonna fill and be really sturdy. Um, so now, um, one thing that you gotta keep in mind is that if you do have electrical outlets, do cutouts for that. Um, I have something specific in mind, so I'm not worrying about it right now. But now uh, it's good to have two people to help you put your paint board up, but I don't, so we'll see how this goes. When I screw these in, I'm gonna actually use the existing peg holes, um, and I'm gonna run the screw through the existing peg hole. That way I'm not damaging any of the uh, wood in between and I'll just tighten it down just enough to make the screw flush and I'll show that in just a sec Alrighty guys, I got my pegboard installed. It looks beautiful. You guys can do it too. It was super easy. It took about an hour. Um, if you guys could rate and subscribe, that would be fantastic. Um, have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will see you guys next video.